Good evening, Modesto. I'm Bob Brinkman. And I'm Veronica Shapley. Tonight's story, aliens. <laughs> That's right, Veronica. Call them what you will, aliens, extraterrestrials, or little green men. Do they walk among us? Some locals would say yes after seeing strange lights up in the sky. Yeah, we saw it land in those woods. It's got to be from outer space. But I'm ready for them. See? Tinfoil hat. <laughs> That'll stop them. <sighs> the worst date ever. So, what does the government have to say about this? We have with us again tonight, General W.R. Monger. Thank you, Bob. It's good to be on your fine program again. Some of you may remember the general from those reports of a giant woman spotted at a Modesto wedding. Allegedly spotted, Veronica. Those reports turned out to be entirely unsubstantiated. <laughs> now seriously, General, what do you make of this? Are we being invaded by Martians? Martians? Of course not! So what do you think they saw out there? Well, in my professional opinion, I'd say it was a case of good old-fashioned swamp gas. Swamp gas? Ah, of course. Yes, Mr. President, that's right. Swamp gas. Huh? Works every time. Happy to help, sir. Best of boozy. I love my job. Ooh-rah. All right, people, with this supposed alien hoo-ha nonsense put to bed, we can finally get back to some serious business. So, monsters, let's reveal. Once a brilliant scientist researching recumbent DNA and the longevity of certain insects, a tragic accident changed him into a genius, mad genius, Dr. Cockroach, Ph.D. Other unsung heroes of science also paid the price for unchecked innovation. This time in the snacking industry, when a dessert topping was crossed with a genetically modified tomato. It resulted in a gelatinous mass that consumed several city blocks before it could be contained. Benzoate Ostalazine Bicarbonate. Although, uh, we just call him Bob. General, General Monger, sir? I have a question. What is it, Detrop? Uh, actually, it's it's Detro, sir. The, the, the P is silent. Silent P, huh? That ain't nothing but suspicious, mister. I'll be watching you. Next, when explorers in the Arctic discovered an accidentally thawed half ape, half fish missing link, he immediately made for the beach, where he made a giant pest of himself and set back male-female relations some ten million years. Now, Insectosaurus, the unfortunate result of the carelessness of Adam Age Man. This behemoth is the reason why radioactive waste and grub worms absolutely do not mix. Just ask Japan. And finally, our newest monster, Giant Norman, or as she still likes to be called, Susan. After being hit by a meteor on her wedding day, she was infused with an unknown extraterrestrial element, after which she grew to a ginormous size. You get it? Pretty good, don't you think? Ginormic. All right, everyone, honeymoon's over. Back to your posts. Now, Detrop, show me my monster. Ah! 
Activate the cameras and... Hey, Ginormica, if you're not gonna eat your oatmeal, can I have it, huh? Oh, please, let the poor girl eat. What? If she wants it later, I can always throw it up again. What does she want to lose? That's not the point. Ginormica here is obviously still trying to adjust to her newfound monsterhood. We should be sensitive. What are you saying, Doc? That we're not sensitive? Uh, wow, got a little gill in on that one. Besides, think there's anything sensitive about her? Check out those hands, are you kidding? They're like man hands, times a million. Ugh. Okay, that's it. First of all, my name is not Ginormica. It's Susan. And second of all, I do not have man hands. And third, I am not, not a monster. I'm a girl, petite and sweet. Got it? Don't look now, but Miss Petite and Sweet just put her spoon through 18 inches of super steel. <sighs> Oh, look, Susan, leave the spoon. We'll just get Monga to give you another one. I don't want another spoon. I want that. Susan, dear, please be reasonable. Where would we go? Hey, how about Monster Beach? Bob, please, there's no such place. Look, I've got to do this. Otherwise, I'll just wind up staying here and settling. And for what? My latest invention! <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake! They're just homemade communicators I happen to whip up, you know, just in case. General Monger, it's a stage four breach! What are we going to do? Hold your fudge, Detrop. I didn't get these birds by turning tail every time some monster showed me his ugly maw. Release the Avenger. All ground teams, I want those monsters fast. Report in. What the? Oh no! What do I do? How should I know? I'm a scientist, not a roller derby enthusiast. That lot of help you are. Ginormica is entering Sector 7. Seal off all exits. Susan, the doors are closing. We have to get you out of there. No! There's the way out! Relax, Susan. You should be miles away from trouble now. Uh oh. Miles away, huh, Doc? Well, I could be a little off. Come on, Susan, you're both on wheels. Surely you can outskate this thing. Okay, then, let's see how you roller boogie. Sir, we have a visual on Ginormica. Understood. Stay back. This is a good test for the oh. Avengers. Sub 2 target Ginormica. Great, go, Susan. What is that thing? Shouting for monsters. Oh. Keep an eye out for monster DNA. You can use it to pick up multipliers to increase the number of. Looks like you're all clear. I should mention that you can jump or double jump. You can duck by. A real simple. Yes. Lean your hips, Susan. to the walls to... Go on, stick to the walls! Uh. Uh. Hot control, monster in sight! Okay, even I gotta say, that's pretty good driving, girly girl. Yeah, I thought Susan was skating. She is! Use the dash button to break through! 
We can't all be super geniuses, can we? Welcome to the DNA Lab! Here... Yes, the DNA gathering, the upgrading, the unlocking! My plan is working perfectly! Some pencil shavings and lead scratchings. Ha! Ooh, now I...